Hey y'all, welcome back. If you've never been here before, then just welcome. Um, take a few minutes, look around, check it out. You'll like it here. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, I'm cute. I'll bring you good content. We'll do a whole lot of fun stuff here. So we'll get right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to recreate this look here. It's just a little purple mod look. Just a purple lippy. Got some purple in my eyes and just a couple liners. And that's it. So what we're going to do is start off with our face. We're going to go ahead and take our primer. It's Lancome LA Base Pro. I love it. It's it's kind of pricey, but it's it's okay. I love it. it. It takes everything out of your pores. Like, you don't have pores. There are no pores. And your face is this, like, slick matte to begin with. But before we do that, we're going to get these nasty hairs out of our eyebrow. Because don't nobody want loose hairs in our eyebrow. Okay, so now that we've cleaned up our brows, we're going to go ahead and take our primer and we're going to take these booster drops. Um, doesn't matter what kind of booster drops, mine or Sunkiss, because I like a little dewy glow. And we're just going to take a glob of that, put them together and apply them to our face. Okay, so now is our favorite part, or my least favorite part, because it takes the longest. So we're going to go ahead and take our NYX. Um, it's a powder pencil and espresso. We're going to take that, and we're going to outline our brows, fill our brows, and then we'll take a little brown powder from our Morphe palette and go ahead and fill those in a little bit darker. And then we are going to do my favorite thing, drag. We're going to drag our eyebrows out into the middle of our face so that they fade in naturally because nobody likes a boxy eyebrow. Nobody likes square eyebrows. So, like, don't put square eyebrows on your face because it's ugly. And your eyebrow doesn't start like that. Like, look at your look at your face. Look at your natural face and tell me that God put a line on your face right there at the front. And he just said, that's where your eyebrows start. He didn't. They fade in. So, fade them in. So we're just going to go ahead and clean it up and conceal it, make it look nice and pretty. Turn that one into that one. Boom. Make them sisters, like real close sisters, okay? Same mama and daddy. So we're going to take this little stout eyeshadow brush and we're going to take our Morphe 12P. Um, basically, all you want is a purple color. My outfit was purple, so I wanted purple. You can do this look with any color. Don't, don't do that. Go ahead and take that color and go ahead and fill the lower half moon on your eye. Just the lower half. That's it. That's all. Do that to both eyes.
Look at all that forehead. God. Once you find what you're looking for, we're going to take this Beauty Gems palette. It's just got this lavender purple. It's just lavender and sparkly. And we just want that in the center of our eye on both eyes. So we're going to take that color on this brush. It's just a Royal and Lang Nickel paintbrush, really. And we're just going to go over the half moon shape, leaving the darker purple on the outside because we don't want to completely make it the light purple. We want it to kind of fade out. And just apply it and blend it in. got two eyes that look the same or almost the same at least close you're just gonna take some liner liquid liner is my preference and you're just gonna create a line on your on the top lid over it so you're like faking a cut crease right but with liner it's gonna go from fat to thin it's gonna fan out all the way into the back and then you're gonna go ahead and add your cat eye to both eyes Ignore those ghetto children in the background. They need beatings, like real life beatings. So here we're gonna line our eyes like I talked about. I like a good cat eye, I love a good cat eye. It just makes your whole face pop. Make that one go from that eye to that eye. Gone girl. about to get snatched we gonna high pony this for our little l woods like look you know i just wanted a high pony it makes me feel fierce so apply your foundation in your necessary spots spaces whatever and then we're gonna go ahead and also apply our contour color at the same time before we blend And follow your face shape. They they have face maps out there. I don't know how to tell you how to contour your face for your specific face shape. So once you've got your face map laid, you're going to go ahead and blend and buff. Just blend it out until that is your skin and nobody can tell you different, boo. So we're going to swap out our Luxie foundation brush for an e.l.f. contour brush. It's got perfect shapes. I don't remember the name of the brushes. I just remember they were like a Christmas special. And so, yeah, go ahead and take those darker colors that you framed your face with and blend them. Blend them until it looked like God put it there. He said, this is what you look like, girl. This, can't nobody say no different. You know, because like, who going to tell me I don't look like that underneath? Nobody's going to tell you that. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> cute so now we're gonna add a little color to our face we've got the nyx liquid suede in amethyst it's a beautiful purple color and it's bold af so let's add that on and then we're gonna take out our everyday hoops and we're gonna bring in our crystals because we are a chandelier okay okay Hold up. Okay, so Fancy Beauty. We're going to go ahead and go with Girl Next Door because we want it to be a little pink. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that highlight is gorgeous. But we're not done. Not with that mascara. I'm not a lash girl. I don't know. I can do them when it's necessary, but mm, 
I was given lashes, so I just looked with mascara, and mascara don't pull my lashes off. Ow, look at that. Shine, gleam, beautiful. Mm, look like this, do this. Yeah, bye.